Hello everyone. Who's ready to go, boss? I have no idea what we're in for. Uh, but thank you very much for joining me. We are streaming. We I'm streaming Scene Investigators. I have no idea what this entails. Scenes are going to be investigated. Bosses are going to be girled. Everything's going to happen. I'm excited, though, because it's been a long time since I've played... It's raining really hard here, by the way, so I'm sorry if you can hear that. Since I played like an investigative Hello, proper one. I am your personal assistant for this exam. Tell me if you need the volume changed at all. What is my name? What is my name? I'm turning up my volume because I couldn't hear them. My name is Zoe. Is this the name you want recorded in our database? See, at least they ask permission before they seal all our data. Yes. Creating your data file. Let me turn up the volume of the thing. Thank you, Nightcat. Recording complete. Excellent. Welcome to the crime scene reconstruction room. Prior to the exam, here are some important notes. Exam? Oh. First, observe each scene carefully. I don't want to do an exam. Analyze everything on site and pay close attention to seemingly insignificant details. Second, not all interactable objects are important. And not okay. All that are I'm sorry, but Third. I just want to. I want. Um. Blah, 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 blah. I don't now think. Look. Them, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Fact. We just investigate things. I'm not that stupid. I just like. I don't like being told what to do, even if it's by a pleasant are female ready? AI voice. Start trial. As long as there's no time Maybe limit, I'm chill. I don't want a time limit. I hate time limits. This is indeed CSI Eurogamer EA122. The police have arrested a man they suspect to be about to rob a bank. They confiscated items found in the van and the man was standing by. Men in Ven. The police were able to get the man to give up the names of his accomplices. It is suspected that the man and his accomplices might also be involved in the purse snatching of Helen Turner. However, all the police have are the items from the getaway van, the criminal records of the three men that were going to rob the bank, and the instant report from Helen Turner. Using what is available, can you answer these questions? I'll the case file. So, uh, there's an amazing... Is it a TTRPG? TTRPG called Sherlock Holmes uh, and the... Fuck. It's in a green box, but it's really, really good. It's like you solve cases in it using like a book and you have to like find clues and it's really amazing. So if this is anything like that, I think I'm... I think I'm gonna be fine. Okay, well... Ooh, fuck. Okay, right. So we need to find out the name of the getaway driver and who stole Helen's purse. <gasps> is this evidence? Or is this is this just for us, huh? I think it's just for us. No, I think it's evidence. Right. Let's have a look in here. Evidence. Chain of custody. Love that. That's good. Consultant detective. Yes, Nightcat. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's have a look. My master plan... Pretty audacious to name anything a master plan. Clover Bank, monthly swap. Lorenzo will send all of us the exact date. Part one of slot swap is in this 20 minute window. Positions by 3.15. Okay, second part of swap. Plan B. Okay. Right. So basically, if there's too much activity, then they have to resort to robbery gunpoint. 55% man with the plan, men with the ven, 15% to the helper, 25% to the getaway driver, and 5 I don't want to do girl math, I don't know if that adds up. Okay. So... This is very... Oh, f Christ. This is very... Uh, Sherlock... Pyramid Scheme? I've been listening to so much MLM stuff about Pyramid Schemes. So interesting and so bad. Yes, Sherlock Holmes investigating detective reclaimed Dason. That's exactly what it is. Is a counterfeiter? Validate your cash! Can we found on page 4? Is this page 4? This is page 2A. Because there was money there on the side. Okay. So we have... News articles here. Richmond donates thousands of dollars. A murderer has been arrested. I think we can assume that's the murderer, maybe? I don't know. Um, K 
counterfeiter, winning numbers, Patricia Langley and pyramid scheme. So if we think anything, sorry, it's really sensitive. Anything would connect to that. I'm going to go and have another look. Police investigation file. Okay, so this is the report of the theft of her purse. Helen Turner. Yeah. Helen Turner at quick and fast. Light skin. Height less than 5'5". Five five, dark hair. Corner of Harmonia Street and Xanadu Avenue. Rosenberg Poss, Rose Gold. Poss, Rosenberg Purse. Lottery ticket, Undyne Lottery Cash. Undyne Lottery, comma, cash, okay. Right. And this is, are these the suspects? Okay, let's have a look at the suspects. This is more in depth than I thought it would be. Should I have skipped that beginning bit? Maybe not, but I feel like I can, I can understand most of this. Solve crimes, right? Be gay, solve crime. Frank Carter, he's 5'6". Any of them? Okay, he, he's 5'7", so it might not be him. Petty theft. Okay, so he's a thief, basically. Carter is known for having done forgeries, but was never proven he was never convicted. Okay. Ooh. He's done identity theft, which is not theft theft. It's a different type of theft. And he's done theft as well. I don't think it would be him because that would be a complete change for what he usually did. So I think it's probably either that guy or that guy. And this is a statement from Helen. I was at home for pretty much the whole morning. I went to wake up cool cafe to meet my friend around 2pm. Told my friend the news had announced the winning numbers of the lottery I played and I had won some money. I was going to cash it in today with me. Okay, that immediately is suspicious. Why would you tell... Not, not, not why telling the friend, but the friend knows that she just won a shit ton of money. Suspicious. I left... Never trust your friends. Don't trust even yourself. Teleports behind you with a dagger. No, nothing personal good. I left the cafe about 45 minutes later. I got knocked over by a man coming up from behind me. Next thing I knew, I was watching him turn around the left corner with my purse in his hands. A bit taller than me and a dark hair and light skin. As soon as I was to gather my wits, I called the police. Okay. Right. Let's... Okay, so I assume that this is all our mind palace for this one. So where have we got? This is where it happened. This is the Wake Up Call Cafe. Where's the bank? The Clover Bank's all the way up here. That's so far away. That's so far away. Okay, what have we got in this? Who's the getaway driver? Who was involved in stealing? I think it's purse. We have the synopsis. Okay, the police have, all the police have the items from the getaway van. Okay, confiscated items found them found in the van the man was standing by. The police were able to get the man to go the names of his accomplices. Okay. Right. So is this all we need? I guess if this is everything we have. So this is some beer that was found in there? Okay. This is the money from her purse. This is her phone, presumably? Look at our messages. I'm sure this is fine as a policeman. 10.509. The 10th of Jan January, February, March, April, May. 10th of May? I overheard something really interesting. 600 bucks cash. It'll be real quick and it's on the way. Boss told us don't use this number if it's not related to the job. You're too loyal to the guy. Isn't he younger than you? We go a long way back. Besides, there's rumours that he's already ste stealing big time at just eight years old. Whatever, split 50-50, okay. So this was in the getaway van, so this must be the um, mobile of one of the baddies. One of the baddies. Okay, so I think maybe they were in the cafe and they overheard her telling her bud. You sure we can trust this guy? I know you hate unpredictability, but we've already seen what he can do. I'm sure we'll be fine. Lorenzo vouched for him personally. Bah, I hate Lorenzo as well. But someone that has his respect must be at least somewhat capable. Okay. So we need to find someone. Okay, and this can't be Lorenzo's phone because he's mentioning Lorenzo in the third person. I hate Lorenzo as well. So 
this guy is different from this guy, obviously. We need to find one of them was at the cafe. Cobile, okay. Which one of them was at the cafe? Or near? Okay, so that's where it got nicked. So they must have run this way, right? Clues! Hello, Piper Barnes! I did have a good Halloween. I, um, me and Wheel started to play Alan Wake 2 together and it made me jump like 16 times. I think this is the lottery money, yeah, this is what was nicked. Menthol sticks. Okay, I'm just gonna say this once. Please don't smoke. Don't vape either. Don't. It's really, really bad for you. Don't smoke or vape, everyone, okay? Please. Okay. That's f just smokes. What was that first thing? 10509. I feel like that's. Is that the code to the safe or something? Or when the job's gonna happen? What day is it today? Okay, so this is her file. Corner of Harmonian Street and Xanadu. Which is. Whoops, sorry, everyone. So this is Zan. So it happened here. Okay. Let's have a look in here again. Right. Clover Pan. <laughs> oh, I can't speak. Um. Uh, sorry, I was just reading chat. Um, Wheels' hearing is still great, Codex. He somehow managed to survive that. Okay, Lorenzo. So that number must be Lorenzo who sent the date, right? Because he said he sent us the exact date. Okay, be positioned at three fifteen. What time did it get nicked? The purse. Um, three ten. So it happened just before this was meant to happen. Minimum security. Second part of swap. Okay, right. Man with the plan, helper, getaway driver. Plus five for Lorenzo. So Lorenzo's the organizer. Is the helper the guy that they don't trust? Okay, hang on a second. Let's have a look. So these are the winning numbers. Undyne, Lottery, it's like the character from Undertale. Um, these are the winning numbers. So she must have won like this amount, I guess? Because it's not that much money. I mean, it is a lot of money, but it's not like that much. Okay, Patricia Langley, two-time winner of Portland Princess. Okay. So this is a singer. This is a pyramid scheme. Pyramid schemes are bad. Okay. Local family store goes out of business? Hang on. Okay, before we do this, let's look at the surnames of all the people. Oh, hello James with a B. Thank you for your super chat. Thanks for the stream, Zoe. Just got my MCM purchases as well. Lovely stuff. Oh, I'm glad you like them. Thank you so much for supporting me in that way. I appreciate it. Hope you enjoy them for many years to come. Okay, so 5 to 10 cash. For, so she won $40? Mm. Okay, so we've got Frank Carter, Chad Harris, and Anthony Young. Frank Carter, Chad Harris, and Anthony Young. Let's see if there's any, like, surnames that we might recognise in this, new this newspaper. Hardison. Ethan. Rick Hardison, Terra. Terra closed down the store. Okay, Terra doesn't have. Okay. That is sad. Teachers need to get paid more. Counterfeiter. The. Uh, counterfeiter known as the Mockingbird. God, I wish I had a cool nemesis name. Or just name. Um. Fake cash. Aha! There are security measures 15, not one for 25 and one dollar bills. Since forges are starting to use blah blah blah. Forgeries have used 20 dollar bills. Validate your cash. Can be found on page four. Can I not go to page four? 
because then maybe she has forged money. Victoria Wells died. Focus on the resentment of Santa Wells. Right, when it's stealing your mother. Okay. Halloway haunted house. Richmond donates thousands of dollars. Everyone knows Wilson Richmond. American Dream was all there. Ah. Dating spot with a woman deemed 30 years his junior. Wilson has claimed you have no romantic interest. Refused to divulge her name. Is this, could this be Helen Turner? Of a scandal, took a nosedive. Donating most of his wealth to charities. Okay. Let's have a look at some of this money and see if it looks suspicious. This is all, t oh no, wait, one, two, Three, four, five, six, six hundred, six hundred ten, six hundred and twenty-five, six hundred and thirty dollars. I mean, I'm not American, but that looks fine. Is it? One, two, three. Whoa. Okay. Let's have a look. Hmm. 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 I've never played the first Alan Wake, Norman, so don't worry. I'm not going to say any spoilers. Alright, let's have a look at Corner of Harmon. Outdoor property. I feel like it was that wild card that they were mentioning in the, in the um, text messages. Okay, so it's probably one of these. I think it's probably this guy. Like... He stole from civilians, he stole lessons from s stores, and he's a con man. Like, I feel like it's probably him. I mean, stealing items from stores seems pretty impulsive. Car doesn't have home down forgeries, never proven. He is kind of the same height. I mean, he's white, he's got dark hair. What about this guy? Identity theft, armed robbery. Yeah, Jesus. He might be the wild card. He's also the same height, right colour hair, light skin. Release for good behaviour, and this is the last suspect. Theft. Um, turn around the left corner with my purse in hand. Okay, I'm going to pay more attention to that. Petty theft. Common from... Okay, he's also a thief, but... He looks a bit too tall. He does have dark hair, but he seems a bit too tall for what that she's saying. Okay, now let's have a look at this. She says, I left cafe 45 minutes later, 2 p.m., 2.45 p.m. she left. Headed towards car convenience, and it was around that time that I got knocked over by a man coming up from behind me. Next thing I knew, I was watching him turn left. Okay. So he turned left. She came up towards cart convenience. Which means that she must have been coming up here. Got nicked. And then he went this way? So I don't really understand what information that gives me. Hmm. Okay. Should we... I think I want to do a guess. I think I'm going to guess that it's... I think it's this guy. He, he just loves theft. He loves stealing. Does the back of the notes match the front? I did look at that, um, Neil, and it does look like they do. 555. Five, five. Yes, there should be one, two, three, four, four. Yeah, so they match. Okay. I'm going to guess. I feel like it's probably him. Oh, fuck. I don't remember his name. Oh, hang on. Wait, what was that? Oh, that's not anything. Okay, right, let's have a look. So, we, I think it was Frank Carter. Let me have a look. Oh, he was the getaway driver. Okay, I think this was Frank Carter. And then... Oh, God. And then we have to use the information on this phone. So, this is Lorenzo. 466, that's Lorenzo. 
this is okay Lorenzo vouch for him I hate Lorenzo I think this is the guy who nicked it because he must have overheard in the cafe and it's around the right time as well 227 240 Ooh. 242 and they've got another phone okay um boss tells not to use the number so that must be lorenzo too loud to the guy lorenzo's younger than him that sounds he's my senior okay is lorenzo a code name is probably a code name and this is we've already seen what he can do so this is at 434 which is after the theft would have taken place right no it's not because it's not a different day okay you sure trust this guy seems all over the place boss does not use this number okay Lorenzo is younger than the guy who has the phone so if the guy who has the phone Okay, so this should be Lorenzo, right? He's the youngest. And this might be the guy who has the phone? Right? Because they were like, you're younger than him? So this might be the guy who did it. What do you think? What do you think? Someone help me. Okay, I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna pussy it up. I'm just gonna do whatever I want. Okay, so I think this guy is... Okay, I think Frank Carter's the getaway driver. And I think Anthony Young did other things. Let's just see what this is. I kind of wanted to explore like a house. Oh shit, I've already forgotten his name. It's not Chad Harris. Anthony Young? Is that his name? Oh, I'm not good at remembering names. Who was involved in stealing Helen Turner's purse? Frank Carter, the guy who had the phone. No. Uh, and Anthony Young. Which I think meant Frank Carter is the getaway driver? Right? Does that sound correct? I think so. Let's see what happens. <gasps> yeah! Fuck yeah! Oh! I love getting shit right. Oh my god. Okay, cool. Wait, what? Start. Was that not the exam? Sorry, thank you for the warning, Nightcap. Understood. Is there like a second part? The selection window during the exam. To pass the exam, you are required to solve all case files. A grade will be given for each attempted case file. Okay, cool. You are free to retry them as many times as you want to improve your grades. Okay. It's important to note that the latest grade will... Okay, so we did- this one is done. Which case file would you like to tackle? Let's- <gasps> Let's do missing first. That's the first one here. Okay, and there are three scenarios? Interesting. Loading right. Scenario. Sorry, Snow White Rose. I was just very happy that, uh... I got it right. I like being right. What can I say? When me and Wills are in an argument, Loading whenever the other person yeah. is correct, the other person has to say, legally, you were right. No, no other words will do. The words you were right have to be said. I just love being right. What can I say? Okay. F. This is scenario. What are exam questions here? Oh my god. You know when you look at questions? So this is what happens with Sherlock Holmes as well. You'll look at questions and you'll be like, I've got no idea what any of that is. And then it will slowly start to make sense. Okay, Nicholas is bad at drawing. Lots of deals on the refrigerator, so they might be tight for money. I will buy groceries with the next paycheck. Oh, thank you, Hollis. <laughs> oh, man. No cooking without mummy or Thomas present. If Nicholas is too fussy, he can give us some crackers in the cabinet. Okay, it looks like she has two jobs. Mama working hard. Okay. Can I open these cabinets? No. Right. Uh, 
right. Cup of tea. Oh, is that like bologna or something? Country potato. I guess that must be potato bread. Right, let's have a look at the phone. Honey, it's difficult for you, I know, but I'm getting tired of this. I need you to tell me what's happening to you. We need to talk. Okay, so these are both from the same person. About ten days apart. Pick up the kids tomorrow. Right, let's see if this is a male or female voice. Honey. It's difficult for you. I know. But I am getting tired of... Okay, so I think we can assume that's the mum. So that must be... Oh shit, what's her name? Catherine. Right? Or Hazel. Okay. Well, we'll figure that out. Corns, should they not be in the fridge? What we got here? ATM transaction record. Okay. If they withdrew three hundred dollars. It's quite a lot of money. I had to do that today because I went into my overdraft. Oh, because I just love I just love food and getting delivery. Okay, so this is Thomas. I think we can assume this is either Catherine or Hazel. I'd assume Catherine. Ooh. What else have we got here? Eighty dollars of fuel for September. Okay. Ah, right, this is his card. Right, I'll check that against the other thing. Dexter. He's got stuff printed out. 30 film photo prints. That's cute. And a casino. Oh no, that's not good. 37 cents? I think we can assume you went in with more than that. That's... Don't fucking gamble. I'm so stupid. Okay. Right, what was this number? Uh, date and time. Card number 1223. Oh shit, is this him? No, it's not. It's not him. 1223. Oh no, it is. Yeah? It says 1223 on the back. Is that like... Is, is it different the way they do it in America? Oh, 1223. Yeah, it's there. It's on the thing. Okay. So he... Drew three hundred dollars out. When exactly? On the eighteenth. What day is it today? Okay. Well, those messages were left on the seventeenth, so I think eighteenth is either today or yesterday, presumably. That's cute. We've got this on the table. Alexander Elementary. Orientation information brochure. Okay, cool. Blah, blah, blah. Do they have a uniform? Yes, they do. Right. How would I contact my child? They need an ID to pick someone up. As they should do. Okay, if that looks important, like something later on, we'll come over and see. Lamp? Good. Oh, little dinosaurs. One of the kids like dinosaurs. That's cute. Let's have a look in here. Oh no! <gasps> One of the kids drew on the walls. What's this? Mahogany. <laughs> Got some new shoes. Swords. Love that. Excellent. Oh, I can't open this though. See, in other horror games, there'll be stuff written on the back. Okay. That is. What the fuck is that? Is that a record player? Please. Oh, I love diaries. Okay, cool. So. Oh my god. Jesus Christ. This is what my diary looks like. It's just everything. Alright, Thomas. So they drew out money on the 17th, right? I think. Didn't do grocery shopping. Star Diner. That must be her shifts. Because she said that they can either call Wilson's or the Star Diner if they well, she wasn't there. So we can assume that those are shifts. Oh shit. 6 to 12 and 1 to 9. Fucking hell. 
God, that one works hard. Gina has a family gathering. Okay. Gina's last day. Thomas comes her Thomas takes care of kids until Gina comes. Gina takes over from three till eight. Okay, so Gina can't take care of the kids on Friday because she has a gathering from noon, which means he would have to look after them from twelve PM onwards. I'll play with kids. Miss Olsen. Okay. God, Thomas does a lot of fucking travelling. Jesus. Albuquerque and Reno in the space of two weeks? Okay. She's working, like, almost every every single day? Jesus, Thomas, you're only pulling your weight here, man. Right. Um. What else have we got here? Kid drawing over the walls. She, honestly, if she had a, like, she just needed a break and just left, then I wouldn't blame her because it looks like she's got a lot on her plate. Uh-oh. Medical bill. X-ray scan. $10,000. America, when the fuck are you getting a nationalised treatment? Jesus Christ. Oh my... Oh, for, I would never live in America. This shit scares me. Okay, so it's for Hazel. Um, I think that might be the child? Fucking hell. Okay, so do they have... Uh, ten thousand one hundred dollars to pay for that because that's one of the questions that's a, that's a nice little book someone lifting weights oh oh uh-oh uh-oh okay dear parent guardian a recent incident has come to our attention about the lack of supervision regarding couple students one of our entry stores okay um cp oh no cps oh shit that's serious Okay. This will require all students, elementary or under, to be dropped off or picked off by parents or guardians at bus locations. This will go into effect next Monday. Okay, so I assume that means that you can't just have your kid walk home, which is fair. So this is where they're being picked up, we can assume, because it's highlighted in front of Bloom Mead Park. Okay, right. Cool. I know, nine grand for an overnight stay? Bloody hell. Offer to pay $20. Uh, I pay for my health and health, like hospital and shit, in respect to the fact that I pay national insurance every month. And if someone else needs to use that money, then excellent. I'm so glad I can help someone else. But I don't pay on demand. That's NHS. It's free at the point of service, I think, is what it was set up to do the fucking Tories would stop fucking around with it. Gina, I'm sorry, but I don't think I can pay you this Friday on the 11th. Oh, God. Okay, so Gina's their babysitter? Hey, Catherine, I talked to the Wilsons and they're happy to have you. The work starts from 1 to 9pm but since it pays well... Okay, so Catherine is the mother in this. Yep. I agree with this. He's travelling all the frickin' time. She obviously needs help with the kids. Expect on the job. Making dinner clean. Okay, so she's basically acting like a house um, housekeeper. Doing the laundry, assisting them when they want to move around the house. Okay, so they need help with their mobility. Oh, God. So she works a morning shift at a fucking restaurant and then immediately goes to take care of two elderly people. Jesus fucking Christ. This woman is a saint. She should not have to work this hard. Okay. What voicemails have we got? Hi, Mrs. Sorry. I'm having a thing with listening to stuff today, and if it's too high, I can't do it. Hi, Miss Patton. This is Mrs. Bird and Nicholas's teacher. Nicholas wasn't able to take part in today's activities. Okay, if you got his backpack. That's it. Now I will be taking things into my own hands. Right. 9753. Uh-oh. Okay. 97... Fucking hell! Missed one, two, three... No, wait. One, two, three, four, five calls from that number. Another call from that number. Is she dodging calls from them? Holy shit, who is this person? 
Okay, well, whoever it is, bad news. That's not good. So this mu- Oh, fuck! Look how fast I can run! Oh my god! Whew. Okay. So this is... Okay, this is Thomas's phone. Ow. And it's not from... That's her number. That's not the person who's harassing her number. Okay. Right, noted. Okay, there we go. It's the 18th. It's Friday the 18th. What's this? Star Diner. So this is where she works as well. I love piecing together the people in these stories. It's so freaking cool. Top five family diner. Looks good. I'm going to get a burger tonight because Wheels is going to play magic. So I'm going to eat burgers. Kids bedroom. Very cute. I love this. Uh, Nicholas is a bit of a... Oh my god. Okay, so I think we can assume Hazel is very neat and tidy and Nicholas is a wild child drawing on the walls. Oh, I love this bedding. Oh. Gingham and dinosaurs need to go together more. She's playing dress up with her dolls. I think we can assume... Yep, here we go. This must be Hazel's, right? Just because pink and pink. Hazel, mummy will be very busy and won't be able to cook for you and Nicholas whenever Thomas is home and prepare all the meals. Otherwise, on the days he's not home, I'll leave twelve dollars on the day and take more. Self six dollars, and your oh, God. Poor kids and poor mum. Fucking hell. Hazel's diary. Sorry, Hazel. Today, Carla and Jasmine. Okay, so this is American, which is weird. So this is September here. Carla and Jasmine showed me their Princess Eliana dolls during research, and I couldn't play with them because I only have the daily doll. I want to play with them. Oh, bless her. She's oh. Adding up how much of her food money she can save to buy the doll. This shit makes me so fucking sad. Today was PE. I'm running out of bread. Oh, these poor kids. Teacher had me meet someone during lunch. Her name was Hannah. We talked about mummy. I think she's mummy friends. Uh oh. That sounds like CPS potentially. Yeah, Arga. If she calls him Thomas to her daughter, that's not a good sign. I mean, I guess it's better than being like dad because I don't know. I don't think he's their biological dad if she calls him Thomas. Presumably not. <sighs> Finding mummy's day off. I couldn't show mummy my drawings. When she wasn't sleeping, she was talking to Thomas on the phone. She seemed mad at him. Mummy's always working now. Mummy's trying to fucking f f make enough money for all of you when Thomas is fricking away at work. Okay, so that's on the 10th, so that was eight days before I think Catherine went missing. Mummy was crying, she was saying she was sorry. Thomas was hugging her. Why does Mummy need to be sorry? Today we only had oatmeal for breakfast. I missed when we walked to the store to play muffins. Nicola Nicholas would give me half of his, and I would give half of mine. So we need to play this. Oh my god, that's so sweet. Why was she sorry? Is that because she split up with Thomas on the 14th? Can let him go. Let's see. Ooh. Let's see when those messages were sent, the voicemail ones. They were sent. No. Okay, it can't be that, because if you broke up with him on the 14th, you wouldn't ask him to go get the kids. Hang on, wait. Let me just look, read that again. So she asked him to go get the kids today because she won't be able to. So if she's missing, that must mean that she either planned to go missing or she has got caught mid something else. Maybe it was just too much for her. Like, this is a lot to stay on top of. It's a lot of pressure. Princess Eliana. Jenny the giraffe. Aww. Okay. Doesn't look like there's any writing on this to indicate who it's from. What's that? Can I pick this up or is that just trash? Ooh. Area is inaccessible. Oh, okay, fine. Right. Uh, okay. Oh my god, they've got a karaoke machine. Wheels are loose as shit. So where's Hazel's backpack? If Thomas's is here, where's Hazel's? I know, Codex. I completely agree. Anything involving kids just fucking so upsetting. Okay. Oh god, that's better that's Thomas's fucking wrist strength bullshit. Okay, and that's this is this must be um Catherine's diary. 
this is today, and she was meant to pay her. It's a lot of stress. Okay, let's, can I open this door? Nope, okay. Right, this must be their room. Oh God, okay, right. Art class, 90 minutes, $35 a session. Oofed. Uh, okay, so that's Monday to Saturday. Fast and Swift, it's a very popular email service. Ooh, what's this? Happy Valentine's Day. I couldn't turn down the job. When I come back, I want to make it up to you. In the meantime, I'll do some flowers. Thomas. So that's the... Oh, idiot. That's Valentine's Day of this year. How about make it up to me my, by pulling your weight with the kids that I so desperately need freaking help with, dick. Can I pick up anything else? Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, honey. I wish for all your wishes to come true for the new year. I've been busy because I've worked this past year, so I want to spend more time with you in the upcoming year, maybe after dinner or when the kids sleep. You can show me the stars and constellations. So she really likes astronomy? That's not the weird one, isn't it? I think I remember a few of them since she told me the last time. Maybe you can do something for us to bond together, huh? I'll just sit on my ass and not do anything, and you can just you can try and make the magic come back. Wishing you a very happy birthday. This is shit. This is... He, if he's capable of writing such beautiful letters or like cards, she deserves more than this. Come on. So that's January, February, March, April, May. What else have we got here? This. This is last year. Okay. I hope he hasn't hurt her. Okay, so this must be when they started going out. So they've been together for two years. I don't know if she'll have had kids by then. So this was... A year ago. So grateful. Uh-oh. I'm starting to overcome my addiction because of you. That's a lie. Or it might not have been a lie back then, but we have the slip from the casino. Which must mean that he probably had a gambling addiction. He started to fall back into it. Okay. Right. Cool. I mean, very much not cool, but still. Nicholas is worth... That must be from Gina? To treat someone who helped raise a children's day. Oh, God. Get new fuel cards for September. $80 each for two cards. So this must be Thomas. It's $80 for two cards. What's the betting? I only saw one card. So did he spend the other $40 on gambling? Oh, they got engaged. Yeah. Thrilled for you. I was quite doubtful it was going to work out. After all, you guys only been dating for a year. Okay. Mm. Oh, these look like bills. Yeah. Uh oh. So you met with Jeffrey Massey, who stated that he had finished shopping and was on the way to the car when a boy, Nicholas, ran up to him. The boy asked Jeffrey to have his sister. Jeffrey saw Hazel unconscious on the ground of a parking lot called 911. Oh, God, so it is her bills. Oh, no. Okay. Okay. What's in here? Oh, frick. What's this? Okay, so $480 from Rick Wilson. So that's from one of her jobs for six days, which she still has to cash in. This is 700 Child support from the dad. Okay, well, that's definitely not 10000 together. Oh, Zodiac stuff. Oh, Jesus. Okay, food budget. $800. Thomas's food. Kids food when Thomas isn't home. My food when I don't have time to pack meals. Okay, $800 for groceries in September. Study of astronomy. Oh, she's clearly trying to... Mm, have her own hobbies and interests, but dear, dear God. Okay. Benefits under this... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Life insurance. Oh, this is health insurance. And it's under Thomas's name. Renewable on the 30th. So it is still in date, because it's the 
18th today. Refrigerated freight driver. Okay. Right, let's work out if this covers the hospital bill. Policy... Okay, so they are in they are in the USA. Gen so it covers GP appointments, non-surgical procedures. The X-ray isn't surgical. Maternity, chronic condition. I don't think it's a chronic condition. Was the first thing. Have policy cover costs. Recognize all business for a general positioner. Dependents of insured may receive all benefits attributed insured. However, they must be legally recognized or receive. Dependents are not married to or legal family. They're not married yet, are they? So she can't receive the stuff. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, because they're not married yet, are they? So, in that case, his dependents aren't, like, legal family. Oh god, Catherine, I'm stressed out for her. The Atlas of World Building and Well Building of Hythral. Okay, right. This is Thomas. Minimum. Oh no, is this credit? Oh no. Wait. Oh, this is credit. Shit. S almost $8,000. Good god. Oh. If it's four people, Hollis, that's $200 a week, roughly, for a month. I don't know if four people to feed, yeah. This isn't good. Okay, so Thomas has a loads of shit going on. He's got a credit card that he's racking up with stuff. This must be the routes that he go he drives? Yeah. Okay, um, September, so this is all September 9th, 7999. Okay, I wonder if maybe he was skipping out on her. Oh, okay, so this is a different sheet, hang on, so that's that one. Is this different? No, this is the newest one. So this is 16th, which is two days ago. Okay. These are a lot of photos. Are these these must be the ones that he got printed from his. Has he been fucking doing photography while he's out and about? Okay, I can't look at any of that. What's this? Quick and simple spaghetti. Okay. Yep. Cool. Nutritious kidney beans and everything. That's good. I'm sorry. I'll need to do some cooking unless this is. I'm sorry you need to pull your weight as the person I'm intending to marry. God. Uh. Oh, Maniacal Mike, I'm sorry. That's fucking shit. I hope that gets sorted out. Okay, so she's they're making stuff for kids. That's on the 6th, and this is on the 5th. So she prints out freaking meal plans. Is there anything else she could do? Okay, Thomas, I think I hate you. And a gun. Oh, no. And a gun? Why are all these freaking beer bottles here as well? Okay, well... <sighs> okay, let's have a look at the exam and see what it is. Where was everyone? Oh shit, I don't even know what number this is. Where's the letter? I need to find the address. Uh, letter... Would be Sorry if I'm giving you an motion signals when moving fast. Uh... Okay, here we go. This should show the... 3535 Oakway. Okay. 2pm on the 6th. She would 100% be working. He would be out driving? No, it won't cover the hospital bill. Who picked up the kids on September 18th? That should be Thomas, right? Because Gina has a family function, so she can't have done it because she's busy at noon, which is 12. 18th. Pay Gina. Yeah, so it must have been Tom. Yeah. 
okay, so where was Catherine on the 6th of September? She was at the Wilsons. And the Wilsons address is... Oh god, what is the Wilsons address? Wilson's address. Uh. Oh, hang on, wait. Is there something here? This is a phone number, right? F five, four, one, two. That's neither of the numbers that were missing shit. I don't know where the Wilson's address is. Maybe it's in the bedroom in one of the payslip things. Let's have a look. Was it here? It's child support. Oh, here we go. This show their address. Four five seven two. Four five seven two. It was like a Clarita Street or something, right? Oh, Zoe, why do you try and do this from memory? Fuck. Uh, Charter Street, Santa Clarita. Charter Street, Santa Clarita. Uh, California. Okay, California. So that's where she was. Thomas was hopefully not ch cheating on her on the 6th. No, that's the 15th. That's my mom's birthday. Uh, on the 6th. Wait. Oh, this is the 2nd. Crap. Where's the 6th? Here we go. Uh, I don't know where he was. 4pm on the 7th. This is 7 hours. S 9, 7 to 9, 11. So on the 6th... <sighs> Either he was leaving or he was still here? I feel like he was still here. So he should be, yeah, here, right? Surely? Uh, it's Oak something, right? Oakway Lane. They would both be at school, I think. Uh, this must be the school brochure. Okay, Alexander, 4902 Romrog Way. Four for something to uh, roam away. That's how I remember things. Four five seven two. Four nine o two. Rom rog way. I think. I'm just gonna change this if I get this wrong. Four nine o two. In L. A. I don't know where Los Angeles is. Uh. In California? Yeah, surely it must be in the same state. 4902. Wait, what? 576? Was that the same person who was harassing? No. The frick is this person? 753. <sighs> okay, hello, nice witch. How are you? I'm solving crimes. 4902, Oakway Lane. Uh, I don't know where Oakway Lane is. Let's go back and look at the thingamajig on the insurance. Oakway Lane, L-A-C-A. L-A. California. Okay. Who picked up the kids on September the 18th? That must have been Thomas, right? What's his second name? Thomas Harrington. Right? have a look at her diary again. Thomas 18th. Yeah, so Gina couldn't have done it because she's got a family gathering, so it must have been Thomas. Because she had a shift. Thomas Harrington. Okay. Let's see if this is right. What? One out of three? 
Which case file would you like to tackle? Bollocks. Okay. Well. One out of three. How the frick is that one out of three? I must have got. So, cat, the first question. Surely the second question is correct. And the two other ones I got wrong. Ow. Oh, yeah. I just assumed that she, he was, like, there. Hang on, let me try scenario one. Scenario. What if I just... Because I can just put in the things Early again, right? Good I want to see what scenario two is. Okay, missing. Right. Speed run this. Exam questions. Oh, good, it's keeping my thing. Excellent. Right, so this has to be correct because we looked at the insurance, which means this is wrong. 2 p.m. on the 6th. So, sh was she not... 2 p.m. on the 6th. Thomas, take care of the kids until Gina comes. Oh, fuck, I got that. I got that mixed up. Gina takes over from 3 p.m. until 8 p.m. Okay, so... Sh no, but she would have been at the Wilsons. It's a Sunday, so the kids would have been at home. Fuck. Okay, I got... I thought we were talking about today, because I'm a freaking idiot, apparently. Okay, so let's try this to 535 Oakway Lane. Oakway Lane. Oh, fuck. So th this must be the answer to this one. Because he was at home with them and she was out at work on 2pm on the 6th. 2pm on the 6th. Yeah, so she'd be at the Wilsons and we've got that address. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and then Gina comes over. And then the other question we have is, who picked up the kids on September the 18th? It can't have been Gina. Can it? Because she has a family gathering from noon? What time do they get picked up? Where's that letter? Here it is. Uh, picked up at 1.20. Leave 20 minutes after the drop-off time. So it must... Must have been Thomas, surely? I can pay you this Friday on the 11th. Oh shit, did Gina pick them up? I don't know what her second name is though. As like a fuck you for not paying her because she's obviously pissed in some of those notes. Gina. Let's go look at those notes because Gina sounded pissed. Uh... Nicholas was worse. Okay. So that must be from Gina and she's pissed off. Catherine Patton, take one tablet, my mouth. Sertraline! Oh my god, Sertraline, sister! I'm also on Sertraline. She's an antidepressants, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it means that. Asta Poppin. Okay. Right, so I think that just shows that, she, you know, she was needed some help. What's in here? Oh, hello. Oh, Gina. She's owed $230. Jesus Christ. Okay, so she needs $230. How much did he withdraw from the bank? Okay. Oh, no, this isn't 80 yeah, okay, so he did get the card, that's fine. And he got photos printed. This was on the 6th. <gasps> he wasn't at home! He was at the casino! 4830 Sunrise Road. Oh my god. Idiot. Dickhead. 4830... Sunrise Road. What an absolute... So that... Wait. So then who was looking after the kids? Were they just at home alone? Oh, you cock. What the fuck? Las Vegas, Nevada. Oh, you dick... You're a dickhead. Las Vegas, Nevada. What a fucking prick. So then, surely Gina picked them up, right? Because I got that one wrong, and it can't have been Catherine because she was at work. Unless they rung her up on, like, where the fuck are you? This is his phone. What are the voicemails on here? That's it. Now I will be taking things into my own hands. Okay.
Okay, I think this might be Gina. Because that's the number that kept calling her. Yeah, so she couldn't pay her. Look at all these calls coming off the 11th. Yeah, okay, I think Gina's kidnapped the kids. Right? Different dates though, 6th and 18th. Yeah, but the question is, where was everyone on the 6th? And that's the question I'm trying to answer. Who picked up kids on the 18th, I think is Gina, because she got pissed. Yeah. Okay, let's try this one. I mean, me. What? Bollocks! Which case file would you like to tackle? So did Catherine pick them up? Did she... <sighs> okay. Never... Scenario. Never give up, never surrender. Right. Loading complete. So it must have been Catherine, right? <laughs> I'll just, just do this until I figure it out. Okay, it must have been Catherine. If it's not Gina and it's not Thomas, it must have been Catherine Patton. Maybe she skipped out on work or something. And something about this is wrong? Two PM on the sixth. Let's see if there's any note about the kids. Unless she like put them into that painting class. Yeah, at two PM they should have been here. But Thomas was at the casino because he's a dick. And she was at the Wilsons, 1 to 9. Okay, so let's just double check this to make sure I got this right. Oh, you can hear my brain thinking. 4572. 4572. 4572. 4572. Charter Street. Yes, that should be right. Oh crap. Catherine Patton. Child's. Okay. And that must be the thing she cashed in. Am I being stupid? <sighs> I mean, he was at the casino because the receipt in his thing shows that on the 6th he was there. Because. Did this get. Hang on, let me double check this. Yeah, okay, no, at 2 p.m. he cashed out. 1.32 he cashed out. Drew out like three hundred dollars. Right? Yeah. It's very suspicious. Is this not it? Okay, if we get two out of ten, then at least we got the bottom two right. Yeah, because we can't do much worse than one out of three. Which case file would you like to tackle? Am I being stupid? Okay, I'm gonna do a different one while I ruminate on that. The dinner party? <gasps> or should we do, I've got half an hour left. I'm just gonna go straight for 100. The, the, no, Arya, on the 18th he withdrew $300. On the 6th he cashed out 37 cents at like one thirty two PM. Loading complete. Yeah, me too, yeah. Nightcat. That'll be really annoying. Okay. That's not good. Ooh. Oh okay computer. Oh, this might be quite an advanced one. Does this door open? Oh no. Oh no. What the fuck? What happened here? I mean that's my job to figure that out, but what happened here? Okay, let's just... 
Okay. Oh my god, how many people got... Well, if there's outlines, that means they're just in hospital, right? Surely? Yeah, no, Jonathan, I... Yeah, Thomas isn't their biological dad because there's child support, so... The dad's out of the picture, I guess? Okay, right, so... Something freaking happened in here. Shot through the window? There's glass on that side, so someone shot in and then someone shot out. Because there's glass over here. Yeah, look, bullet holes. Yeah, okay. Three bullet holes, Jesus. Okay. Let's have a look. A cab. Uh, a Hawaiian shirt, sure, why not? Okay, so someone must have been shot here. Oh god, more. This is a different bullet casing though. Is that a shotgun? No, that's not a shotgun. Yeah, these are two different guns. I'm just, just getting my bearings before we start doing proper investigating. Out of order. Excellent. Publicly funded. Oh, I don't know if this person survived. Je what the hell happened here? Thank you, demons. You demons must die. I'll probably look it up after the stream, honestly. And kill download on my Steam Deck. What the fuck? Good God! Like what? This is a bloodbath. Okay, right. So this is all terrible. Jesus Christ! Someone barricaded themselves in here. Good God! Okay, at least there's not a body outline here. He's in the clear. A counter tip? I don't know what that means. Okay, so someone had dismantled and was cleaning their gun. Mm. Floppies, oh my god. What's between you and your partner? Judge R. Okay. Call them. Okay, so missing? Is this the per case they're working? See if Jim and Postal can get the can get package to slip in. What are you trying to sneak in? Like a camera? A microphone? Okay. So this is one case that's being worked. I'll come back in a little bit. Yeah. Hopefully Liam. Hopefully no one's seriously hurt. I mean, they're in hospital, so they're obviously seriously hurt, but... Oh, God. Okay, everyone, you ready for some reading? Something of September. I forgot my wallet today at home. I couldn't enter the office until Richard opened the door for me. I wish I had him as a partner. He never complains. He's just quiet and gets things done. He's next to never talks at all. At least I can't remember any time off the top of my head. He's qu Harry's quiet bit in a way that makes you worry from time to time, especially when he's really drunk. Can't pay off my rent this month. Need money really soon. Like, hella soon. My god, life is strange. Writers are here. Mike doesn't have a kid. Kind shred in his heart. The fat tub of lard came in panting today during lunch. I told him to try using pig insulin instead. He spat at me. I don't really care. He tried to something me again. I thought him getting offended might make him think about my situation. And I'm Okay, right. Richard walked in today. He just stared at my post for a bit before leaving. Maybe we can talk to him and see if he'd back me up and get our entire office upgraded. I've been wanting that gun for a while now. I can taste it. Uh-oh. Sometimes broken gun, like fancy features are what I want. Beanbag, beanbag, where are you? Tired money speaks. Stiff and... Okay, right. I'm really sorry. I'm still unable to find the medication. I wrote word salad in the afternoon, it seems. Richard broke his gun. That's why he came in yesterday. I'll ask the chief again if we can get a special order in. I want something like my fancy baby to be a standard issue. I wouldn't mind something even crazier. Like the revolvers that Harry has on his walls, but maybe that's going too far. I'm only worried that Harry would get one of those suckers. He's already a kill shot with one of the pea shooters. A person did seem like they had a um, head injury. Yep, sounds like a cop. They actually don't do outlines in a crime scene. There's still a lot we can tell from what they gave us. Oh, thank you, Alain. That's interesting. 
I got pulled in by the chief today. He asked me about Harry. Seems like they're just doing a general evaluation. I answered pretty casually. They asked if I knew about any evidence going missing recently. I'm unable to say confidently that it wasn't Harry. I've only seen him party hard with booze anyways. I now think I'm seeing a unique pattern in the rug. It's helped me clear my head and think about certain people. Still, the medicine is gone, and I don't like thinking like this. My head aches a bit. Oh, no. They took Harry out of our case. They put in Michael Snyder. I hate that man. I cannot accept this. I refuse to ever work with him again, and I will force them to realise this. Somebody will understand. He's been cruel in some stuff recently, too. Keeps making jokes about issues that the others still haven't clued in on. If he makes another one of those jokes, I'm going to blow a casket. I hate him so much, and the position I'm in makes me feel like shit. Oh, dear. Darren Nakamura. Oh dear, Darren. What are our questions for this? What is the package by the exit? Maybe that's his gun. Who died by the office doorway? Who was the dirty cop? Apparently people murdered. Was Harry Baker in a reasonable state of mind? Which prisoner was an enteric? Jesus Christ, this is a big one. I mean, I did go for the one all on the right-hand side, which is clearly the most difficult one. But, you know, go big or home. Okay. Someone's for next month. Okay, so this is a case they were working. If this is Danny Nakamura's... Darren Nakamura's, maybe this is his gun? It's a point forty. I don't know anything about guns. Barbecue. With Piggy! Jesus Christ. Okay. Are these what he was taking? Thip Thipidime. Late. Oh shit, schizophrenia. Oh, that poor guy. Oh, that's not good. Right. This is. a bit worrying. Okay, right. Well, let's see what's here. Hmm? 1998 planner. Okay, doesn't look like there's anything written in there. What's this? Oh no. Oh no, that's not good. Ugh, never has the phrase they're watching been said in a good context ever. Anything here? Order new. Beft, phone new bitch. Doc says take two. Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, well, Mars is the same place. New medication today. Not like the old stuff I was using. It's got a bit more of a kick to it. I know my doctor told me to likely avoid this if I want anything else, but he said it was a great alternative if I start to notice a dip in the other medicine. Ooh. It seems to be doing fine. I don't notice any difference just yet, but it gets the job done. My headache's still there, though. Oh, good. Whispering stopped. That's good. It's only been a week, but I can say that this got the job done just fine. My headaches are still there, but they hardly compare to the normal ones. Chronic pain, I swear to God. My trial of man ran out today, bought some pain reliever to help the layover until I can get another bottle in two days. I almost collapsed when I finally got the stuff yesterday. It's a fast actor, however. Came in a little late. Stretching out a little. Oh no, because it works 100%. This is why you should have public funded healthcare, because then people can get the medicine they need once it's prescribed without having to pay for it. Like fucking, was it insulin that costs? A stupid amount of EpiPens. <sighs> Didn't take one as an experiment yesterday, because this is what people do. They don't have enough to last them comfortably to when they can get a new prescription or afford one. So they start to take less, which then just has fucking knock-on effects. Like, if you're taking medication that stops you from having, like, psychotic episodes, there's just so much more risk involved when you try to find ways to make a stretch further. But if you have publicly funded healthcare and a health system that actually gave a shit, you could get your meds when you need them instead of you having to pay a stupid amount of money for them. Ugh. I think the prior medicine was just putting me off. You could tell me green men had taken over the government and I would have bought it. Had to buy another bottle. I'm going to have to start a second job or something. Great! And more stress. Like That definitely will help the fact that you've got schizophrenia that you're trying to fucking deal with. Ugh. This isn't good. Also, the kind of paints Nakamura maybe is the one who loosened some of the shots which isn't amazing so I feel like that might be a red herring that it was someone else who did it. Jesus Christ look neat and tidy. Good God 
Yeah. It is depressive deduction side, isn't it? But then again, like I said, it might be a red herring because plenty of people with mental health problems walk around day to day and don't do stupid fucking shit like this. And the narrative in the media that people with mental health problems are the ones that hurt people is incredibly damaging and just adds to the stigma of mental health overall. So I really hope that Danny Nakamura wasn't the one that did it because that would be incredibly like fucking trite and predictable. I hope it was someone else who is just a dick and doesn't have any mental health issues. What's this? So this is Richard's little cubicle here. Okay. Empty ammunition box isn't a great sign. Alcoholism. Ah, so this must be the guy who has a drinking problem. Okay, so he's obviously worried that he's going to get fired. I wonder who the dirty cop was, though. I don't think it was... This guy's a drunk doesn't mean that he's dirty. That's a lot of ammunition. Oh, God. It fucking terrifies me in America that you just have, like, fucking... Ugh, ammo and guns everywhere. How is it that Kinder Eggs surprises are illegal, but you can just fucking get guns? What's this? Nakamura bugged me today after lunch about if Susan could offer a smaller type deal, but I told him that she wouldn't. He wants petty change, enough to buy fountain drinks and ramen, probably. Susan already expressed that she wasn't interested unless he had enough to pay off his already late rental charges and then some. I told him to just harass Mike for some change if it's just for snacks and shit like that. I mean, he's always got cash just lying around. I know Mike... Is Mike the dirty cop if he's got spare money? I mean, he's always got cash that's lying around. No, Mike might not help, given his dislike for the guy, but it'd be worth a try. Nakamura just turned and left. Okay, so if Mike's got extra money, he might be the dirty cop. It's been a long day. There's just been so much going on in our current case. Both Mike and I hit the mother load. This is the holy witness we've been waiting for. She's going to break the entire case against Carl Tristan. From here, from here, notes we can read that the 11 kilograms of DDP something something that the company was transporting was switched and at the last second for another trucker. Trucker. Tristan didn't mishandle the insider stuff. He was either set up or very unfortunate victim. Pure coincidence. Wherever it is, this is evidence enough for us to pull this out of the fridge and grab any warrants that we'll need. I just need Baker to not keel over and die. I found him in the corner of Swiss and Baker's this morning. He was an, he was a complete wreck. Dragged him here in the car. He's a liability right now. That evidence for his case a few weeks back went missing. I'm 90% sure he just partied all night with the final portion of it. Nakamura may be the largest hiring blunder we had in the last decade, you dickass, but if Harry doesn't shape up and stop running afoul, then even Nakamura may seem like a decent partner, and if this goes on just a little more, we'll have to really confront him. Ugh. Jesus. <sighs> yeah, Coffee Cat, I completely agree about the- Well, it was the mentally ill guy, obviously. The backseat washed before the party next week. I'd rather that Nakamura and Mike not constantly try and get in each other's way. The bickering is constant on most normal days. They are often testy after their individual morning walks. I think they likely run into each other and fight. Today is exactly one of those days. They come back in at the same time and were complaining about something that I care too little to understand. I really did try and ease the tension, but Mike was playing hard ass. Hell, it got to the point that Nakamura got quiet. It set Mike off and he understood to shut up. Baker just watched the entire show. He was waxing his swords in the office. He gets some type of sick pleasure watching all this. I can feel it. If Nakamura is the... Uh, then Baker's the lost cause. I got to meet him today. He looked healthy. Seems fine. He's unusually well for someone in his shoes. Rather kind for someone who's had all their stuff taken from them. The bank literally got rid of all his possessions. His health is good and he's showing no signs of a relapse from his prior issues. Who? Baker? Baker was yanked from his case this morning. Mike is now in charge of the questioning of Philip Clements tomorrow, so he may join me a little later with Carl. From what I've heard, the man's just going to get some potentially heavy charges. But they're also offering a massive deal if he happens to just babble long enough about his friends out on the streets. I don't think Mike is very excited. I think he respected Baker enough that he's peeved at all this. He never liked Darren since he fudged the big case last year. Those two together were messy. Baker was passive. A little too passive. He immediately ordered a plane to go with the phone. Okay, so... Baker's being off as well. And Baker is the one who was fucking doing his sword shit. 
Yeah, okay. Right, I think Susan Bolts. Right, one of you is dirty. So there's Mike, Richard, Darren, and this Baker dude. <sighs> oh, but they had a pizza party, so, you know, excellent working conditions. Who's this guy? Simon Forearm Jackwell. Okay, so Richard Nakamura. Who's this? So that's the guy with his weird fucking swords. I mean, I love swords, but I won't keep them in the office. Oh my god. Okay, Baker's the sharpshooter. His sword is gone. Oh, loads of his guns are gone. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. So this is Baker's diary. Oh, I've tried to send the package now from three different places, but they keep voiding the stuff. I even tried just to pay the guy to look the other way. Cannot send it. Mm, not good. Rounded a few of the downtown kids tonight. They're taking pot shots with their BB guns. Darren told me to cool down again. They shut up my rearview mirror. Still can't send the package out at this point. Carl will never get it. I hope he can understand. I tried real hard this time to get things in order. I had to shoot a guy tonight. Uh oh. I'm going down to the bar. Oh god. I'm sorry. I had to shoot someone again. It was a. Oh fucking hell. He asked me a day or two ago if he should be worried. I told him I was running okay. I don't like office duty. Jesus. Yeah, Arya, exactly. Like, if he's... if he's, There were a lot of, like, headshots and stuff. I need help. I need to get out of here. All I do now is drink and write papers. There's nothing here. I haven't talked to Kyle and I'm stuck here doing these goddamn papers and I can listen to Darren complaining about these things. Chief told me I cannot drink anymore in the office. It's affecting me. Bullshit. It's the only thing that can help me right now. I'm going to go crazy. Uh-oh. I've been really testy again. I need to go to the bar, but I can't do it right now. I need to be clean, even if just for another few days. I don't want it to end like it did last time. The only good thing is now I can do what I want. My flight leaves tomorrow evening. I ain't staying around here. I need to move them face to face. Okay, so either this guy has a drinking problem or he's the dirty cop or he's both. Happy birthday. Oh, it was Kyle his son. Happy birthday, Kyle. I hope that you enjoyed turning 15. I know your mother liked you through a great party. I'm sorry I missed your birthday. <sighs> I had tickets, but work comes first. Next time I promise to be there and I probably won't be. I'm sorry. So he was trying to get him a present. Might not always be there. Oh no. Pass on something as an inspiration. Please don't say you gave your 15 year old a gun. For the love of God. Okay, right. Okay. What's in here? MacArthur. Detective Nakamura and I witnessed two young kids doing some unidentified baggies by the gas station. Oh no. Oh no. Suspect 3, the older Caucasian male, was inside the van. When he saw me chasing the kid, he turned the vehicle off and proceeded to raise his arms into the air. Suspect 2 pulled a pistol. At this point, where I'm running, I fired three shots by the time he turned to face me. Two bullets shot him in the throat and one got in his right hand. I don't believe that he was able to fire a shot, but I'm unsure. Oh god. Suspect 2 bled out before me. Oh god. Nakamura's aggressiveness has been noticed in the past. I'm pulled from the case due to the incident. I request Detective Snyder or Bolts be given over you the downtown operations. Okay, well, you don't like Darren anyway, so whatever. Uh... Fuck, this is a mess. Jesus Christ. So that's Baker. This must be Mike in here, right? Yeah, Mike Snyder, right. So... Oh, fuck, I'm forgetting how they mixed up. Mike is... The... Alcoholic? Send $300 for this. By Ovaltree. I can't open these. Ah, uh, I can see some empty beer cans. I feel like this is the alcoholic dude. Oh, a little ladybug. Cleaning a gun, a manual. Okay. 
that's probably going to be relevant later. He loves American football. What else have we got here for me to have a look at? Oh, this reminds me of almost like Gone Home when you could piece together the like um, diaries and stuff. Oh my god. Sneeze. Baker just broke his two month separation from booze. Okay, so he. Okay, right. Drank the most of his fridge. Uh. Hand the new folder to Dick tomorrow. He's authorizing something for a case two. Sounds like I'm coming to talk. Note have enough money on the side now to buy Clara that nice dress. Baker keeps laughing each time I ask the guys to grab donuts. I think his frustration is starting to bleed through. His last case hasn't had a break, though, because Nakamura keeps dragging his feet, and since Baker himself is actual force, say here. Grab Carl Tristan for questioning from NLSJ. We may have had a break, bits of evidence. Don't trust Nakamura until you know that he actually has his wallet on him. Well, he doesn't have enough money. He keeps muttering about how it's not his fault when he's asking for something that he cannot pay for, not charity. Yeah, but if just buy him a meal every now and again, Jesus. If he's paying out his fucking ass for his meds, which I feel like if they're just on his desk, people will notice. Maybe you shouldn't be a wanker. Ugh. Sometimes we fail the right people looking at the stuff we have. Tristan should be a free man. He's been left behind and lost a decade and a half. His life just poof, gone. We're going to try and get somebody just above to hear us out. It'll take time, but you can handle it. It's now $50 for the entire package, and it's not like there's much in there in the first place. The thing is always light as a damn feather. Disgusting. Shitty, slimy, shady. Oh my god, tag yourself. I'm shitty. They know I need it, and they're going to ride me for every penny. This isn't something... Rectational? I don't know what that means. Recreational, maybe? I had a good laugh when I went make with Baker and Nakamura for lunch. Baker barely smiled, but I think he liked being out of the office. Nakamura just nodded a little lot. Acts like he can actually follow a discussion. Oh, you're such a... Every, uh, apart from Darren, who's still got his own fucking issues, everyone here's a dick. Jesus. His standard carry broke. If only I could get the security footage read for that. I've been pestering about requesting a new one. So Richard's gun carry thing broke. Uh, I think I'll be able to have a good report with Phil. Seems he's grown in our area. Arrested with our team's jersey hockey, jersey hockey, hockey jersey, but also like thirty pounds of marijuana. Seems to be a decent guy from his wife and brother's statements. Just down on his luck. Oh, so you'll be nice to this guy that you've just met, but someone who's actually got mental health issues. Fuck him, right? He's also using a lot of what he was dealing, the one number one, just don't touch what you sell, it always makes things harder, but at least I have a few jokes that I think you'll be able to laugh at. Doesn't have to make sure Nakamura doesn't screw with this, he needs to keep quiet. Okay, yeah, so so Mike is the dirty cop, so what's his name? Michael Snyder. Uh, let's put this in here. Michael Snyder. Harry Baker. Yeah, I think he was fine, right? N no, he did book that flight though, didn't he? Okay. We're slowly getting there. Slowly getting there. What's this? Drop a few sheets of the ship layout. Oh god, this place is a mess. Okay, I think these are all just kind of random notes. Like, nothing here is, is that important. Rose wants, Rose wants to be what? A chunky rat. Does he mean Chuck E. Cheese? Okay, right. So... What are their titles? Senior Detective. Senior Detective. Detective and... Senior Detective. Okay, right. What's... Who's this to? This must be a gun, right? Oh no, it's a sword, isn't it? Because he was doing the sword. Bartholomew Baker. Yeah, this must be the sword that his granddad had. Because he was like, it's really important to us, so I'm going to send it to my 15-year-old son. <sighs> okay. Uh, what was in the package by the exit? A sword. Was the gun the killer using standard issue? So if we're assuming it was Baker, so this is one of the guns. 
That's a revolver, and this is not a revolver. Oh god, I can't. So that looks like a, a gun with a long barrel, which I don't think is that one. That looks like it has a shorter barrel. So this one might be the one that all of the shooting was done with, which would make it a June Sweeper .45. Which, I mean, it's not standard issue, right? <sighs> okay. Let's just have a look over here. Okay, no idea who this is. I don't know what kind of bullet that is, but it looks like it would come from a revolver? Okay, right. Yes, Nightcat. Yeah, I agree. Um. Uh, oh shit, it's two minutes past five! This is a good game, dude. I've, I like this. It's um very in-depth, but I really enjoy mystery solving and problem solving. Right up until it gets to the point where I forget what time it is. Uh, and also, I can't figure out one case and where everyone is, so I might look up a walkthrough there and just see where I went wrong. But yeah, this is Scene Investigators. It's a good game. I'm really enjoying it. I love that it's properly in-depth, that it just kind of gives you the, like, location, and then it's like, cool, off you go. I think that's pretty good. Um, I don't... I think there could maybe be a tiny bit of hand-holding... Like, when you submit a report for the third time wrong, it'd be cool if it was like... They couldn't have done this because X, Y, Z, just to push you in a different direction. But, um, I really like this. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see more of this on the channel. If you're watching this in VOD form, I'd also love to hear from you whether you would want to see more of this on the channel. I know it's quite a talky stream, there's not loads of, like, action that goes on because I'm just trying to solve this. But I really like having you guys in the chat and I can just chat to you. And you can sometimes help me out, and sometimes we can talk about American healthcare systems and how fucked up they are, as well as the gun laws in America. Anyway, I'm going to leave it at that. Uh, I hope you lovely folks have an amazing evening. I'm now going to go and order myself a delivery because wheels are the way, which means I get to order nice food for myself. So, uh, I will see you lovely lot later this week. Have a good one. Goodbye.